Alright YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you how to hook up your Hook 7 Marantz transducer to the to your trolling motor, motor guide, Minn Kota, whatever you have, alright? So, you know, we got the Marantz here. Okay, and so first, you have the power cable. Power cable hooks up to the power, to the red on red. And then this wire just runs down here. And it's just in here into like a little, a little fuse box. If you see that, it's a little fuse box. So that that's that's easy. So what you want to do, you want to take this off. You know, every every fish finder and trolling motor is all different, but they're basically all the same, all right? Okay, that works. I'm just gonna set it in here. All right, I have it in there like so. Okay. So what you want to do, you want to run it. Y'all run your fish, your transducer. So, you're gonna probably want it in here to start out with. So I got this little niche right, got this little niche right here. So I'm gonna run it. I'm gonna run it all the way till I get out here. And I'm probably gonna run it underneath this. So you're gonna wanna run it. Get it out of all this here. I can. Dang. When you untangle it, you do one of two things. You can either zip tie this, just like the cheap way. Zip tie it like that, okay, around uh, the trolling motor. Or you go online and you get one like this. It's a little bracket you can fit, and it goes all the way around it, and it's that's not moving okay and they make a thing where it just slips on to the to the depth finder so we don't have that today so we're gonna have to zip i mean this that ain't going nowhere i mean it's it's fine there's a little room but it's not going nowhere so now you can put it like that and you could just go like this. So what you want to do, make sure it's tight to this. And you just want to zip tie all the way down the shaft. And then right until we get to that, like right there on top of the neck, I'll show you what to do with your wiring. So let's start the zip tie and let's get to it. Alright, once you got it, you just got all the way down to right here. What you're gonna have to do, you're gonna have to undo this. If you have this top and rotor guide, you're gonna have to undo this. Okay, this does lift up alright, so that's good. So, what you wanna do now, you gotta get the rest of this the cord. It's definitely a long cord. You're not running out of running out of space here. So you want to get this access. You want to put it along here, like so. Make sure you don't pinch the wires when you're doing this. So tuck it close to that to that right there, and then you want to just put this back through here. Tie it back up. All right. Once you got that one zip tie, run this down here. Run it through down here. Make sure. Actually, take it over here. You're gonna want to plug this in to the sonar. So make sure the fittings line up. So I'm gonna turn this upside down here. Once you got that. Now we don't want all that ugly wiring. Okay, so once you tuck all that in, make sure it's down. So that's how it is right now. You got the transducer down there, runs up. And I took the wire out of this, so I'm afraid that this is gonna slide up and down. So I took that out. And so I just kinda put them in here, just tucked it in there, so it's just holding for right now. You know, the zip tie up here. So what you wanna do now, is that you want to run this 
So I'm going to take this in here. And these little holes, I'm going to put zip ties through. So when you have all the zip ties down, it's just a much cleaner look for right now. The ties, you know, make it look ugly for right now. And so you want to leave just a little bit of access, you know, just, just in case, you know. Okay, so once you got that, you should be fine. So let's put the wires. Let's wire through here and put the power wire. Let me plug the power wire in power wires in so you know you want to adjust it like so you know to your likings make sure you got good enough slack okay so now you want to put this back since we're basically all done with it you know, make sure you don't pull any wires loosen them up nothing like that okay so fix that you gotta bolt that down all right, once you get that, move all your zip ties, got the ties, everything looking good. Ties, transducers down there, everything is working. Then when you put it up, it's all good, no, nothing gets in the way, very, very good. Plugged in, fish finder works, it's all good. All right guys, that's the end of this video on how to put a transducer, a Lowrance transducer on your trolling motor. Thank y'all for watching. I'll see y'all in the next video.